Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the largest crypto channel in all the interwebs. My name is Ben. I'm a real person, not a paid actor. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in crypto. If you like money and crypto, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Guys, we've got to have a really kind of sombering talk today. And um, I'm going to tell you guys something that I've done. Uh, but I do want to give you guys some hopium for the future. So basically, here's the long and the short of it. You know, I'm in a lot of groups. I'm talking to a lot of traders. And there is a sentiment going on out there for sure, no question about it, that we are heading towards a bloody Sunday tomorrow. Uh, you guys know I, I've really tried hard uh, over the last couple of weeks to be positive about the market. And overall, I am still positive about where Bitcoin is going to. I, I for the life of me, would never believe that this is the end of this bull run. There's nothing in the data, the indicators, outside of one top indicator, the Pi Cycle Chart indicator, or a Pi Cycle Top indicator, that shows numbers reminiscent of a blow-off top in a bull run. But I would tell you guys this, in 2013 to 2014, the Pi Cycle Top indicator crossed twice. Uh, once in between the hyper-Bitcoinization run and then the rest of the bull run, and of course, after the bull run, as we went back into a bear market. And I hope, once again, guys, this has served to show you guys that we will go through another bear market, whether it's now or whether it's later. These people that just talk and talk and talk and tell you Bitcoin's only going up, like Michael Saylor, for instance. Uh, they say, oh, we'll never see 50% drops again. And then we see it. Uh, you guys know, uh, I, talk, I addressed this a few weeks ago. The idea that Bitcoin is to a place of adoption, there will never be dumping again or never be a bear market again. Uh, that is a dangerous narrative. That is a very dangerous narrative. And we are doing our best to decipher where we are in this market right now. Because I told you guys when we had the massive dump two weeks ago or a week and a half ago, I need about two weeks to figure out where things were going to be heading to. And what we're seeing right now is a lot of negativity on the markets. And we actually have some, I'm looking at the chart right now, we actually have some pretty disturbing news uh, from Market Cipher on the daily chart. On the daily chart, we now actually have a yellow X that has formed uh, on the daily, and that is definitely not good news. Because a yellow X on the daily, the last time we saw this uh, was, I believe, February of... I want to say 2020, but I think it's actually February of 2019 uh, was the last time that we got a yellow X on the daily. Uh, basically, like here's here's a good example. I'm looking at it right now on the Bybit chart. On the Bybit chart, which began, um, it looks like December, nope, November 15th of 2018. On the Bybit chart, I don't think we've ever gotten a yellow X on the daily. So this could be either good news or bad news. Oh, that's the three-day chart. Sorry, let me go back to the day chart. I was on the wrong one. Uh, let me look and see where this was. There may be one on the day chart. People were saying February 2019. Let me just double check that. That's right. February 2019, we did get a yellow X on the daily chart. Now, uh, let's look at what happened the last time we got this yellow X on the daily chart. It actually doesn't look like it was very dramatic. So that is definitely uh, great news. In fact, the price actually went up from there. So just because we have a yellow X on the daily doesn't mean things are dumping. But the sentiment on the market is not good. And we told you guys two days ago, we told you guys that uh, the weekend was going to be very unpredictable. I told you guys on Thursday that for at least the next 24 hours, I was going to be very bearish. Then we discovered that, and of course, the price dropped from 38000 to uh, 34000 in that short time span. And so basically what we're looking at now with this yellow X is a lot of uncertainty. We already know the weekends are very uncertain. We already know that Sundays have been causing causes for a lot of dumps. Okay, so what have I personally done with this information? I've sold a lot of crypto. Uh, and that sounds crazy, right? Um, I've sold about, um, how much is that? I sold about $2 million worth of crypto. Now, when I say sold, let me be clear on that. I did not cash it out. I moved it over to USDC in order to take advantage of a market drop tomorrow. Now, if it doesn't happen, 
then you know what? I'm at least prepared and I got my money sitting in USDC. I can wait for a dip at some point. But if not, if the crypto markets, this is why I think this is a good position for me to be in. Because if the crypto markets rebound and they pump extremely hard, then what that means is that I'll just take that $2 million and, and cash it out. I missed it. Or maybe, you know, wait for another, you know, future dip. But if, if we don't go down further this weekend, that means the bottom's probably in. And you know what? I just moved some crypto out. It is what it is. Uh, that's about 12.5% uh, of uh, my portfolio at this point, maybe closer to 10% in all reality. Um, but I did this with coins that I had smaller holdings in. Um, I sold Tezos. I sold Cosmos. Um, I sold um, uh, EOS. I sold a lot of projects. I didn't sell any of my Cardano. I didn't sell any of my Ethereum. I didn't sell any of my Bitcoin. But I have moved over some of my smaller alt holdings and consolidated them. So hopefully, if the market does drop, then what I'm going to do is go back in and I can almost double my Bitcoin if it drops down to 25,000, which is the number a lot of people are talking about. Now, we may get a little more into this tomorrow because we don't have like a ton of time actually on vacation with my family this weekend, um, you know, doing, doing some family stuff for Memorial Day weekend. We'll be back live streaming, of course, on uh, Tuesday. But as you guys know, we still get your three videos every single day on this channel. We've got a huge Cardano video coming out, and that's why I didn't sell any Cardano. Uh, because I definitely believe that Cardano's got a huge chance to continue this run. Um, but I'm looking to accumulate more Bitcoin right now uh, because it has just been pounded, and it is going to be the first thing to bounce if we go back into a part two of the bull run. Um, but one thing that's developing here is we've been telling you guys for, uh, sorry, we've been telling you guys for months now. Uh, really, ever since uh, the Coinbase IPO, uh, well, I guess, when was the Coinbase IPO? I guess it was last month, right? Or was it in, it was in April? April 20th? No, that's 420. I don't even remember when it was. Maybe it was weeks ago. Maybe it was months ago. I think it was about six weeks ago. Somewhere around there. Uh, that was the peak of Bitcoin at 64K. I mean, I guess I could actually look. I got the chart literally right in front of me. Um, so the, the point here is, is ever since that Coinbase IPO, we've been going down. We've been telling you guys, we didn't know what the hopium was that would get us to the next run. Let's see what date that was. Yeah, April 14th, I think is when we peaked, somewhere around there. So we did, So it's been six weeks, like I said. We've been looking, what's that new narrative? Well, I think we may have it. It's important for us to have dates to look forward to when it comes to understanding Bitcoin's potential. Watch for June 30th. Okay, we know that is the end. Uh, that's the last week of quarter two. And we know that generally that we'll have downward action at the end of these quarters. But what we could see is the bearish sentiment pushing a lot of your futures traders to do calls at higher prices instead of puts. Uh, and, and then that could lead to maybe some, you know, pushing. At, actually, you might see more do puts than calls. And that could put some pressure on the crypto markets to pump prices if the prices are down at the end of this month. Or at the end of June, excuse me. But here's the opium. What spurred all of this movement for Bitcoin, other than, of course, the halving and the production cut? It was the stimulus money. It was the pandemic, obviously, right? So the, the point is, we just got Joe Biden's budget plan. This is not a stimulus plan. There's no stimulus included in this. It is the highest percentage move uh, since World War II for an increase in the budget. He's calling for a 6 trillion dollar budget. Now think about this. How much money and stimulus have they printed and given out? I think it's about six trillion. Maybe it's more. Maybe it's nine trillion dollars. I'm not even sure how much it is over the last year, but it's a lot. Basically, they gave us all that free money. Now they're going to want to take it back in forms of higher taxes. So this is the big scheme behind inflation and behind, um, you know, taxation is they're printing to inflate the, the dollar, okay? And then they're asking that money back for you. So, so you're not even gaining anything. All you're losing is purchasing power. The end of June is when that budget is has to be passed. So that means setting up in July, we could see a gigantic run up for Bitcoin. That's my hope. That's what I'm sticking to. I believe we are gonna see that. Um, and that would really push us up towards the second leg of this bull run. Uh, guys, uh, there's no stimulus money coming in this. Uh, they, he's already said that. The free money train 
is over. This is where the inflation gets really dangerous. So this is great for Bitcoin, bad for the dollar. I would still rather be in Bitcoin than the dollar. That's why I moved over several alts in order to be able to pick up more Bitcoin to hedge against the, the possible hyperinflation we could be heading to. So that's all I got for today. You guys, drop your comments down below. Let me know exactly what's going on. Make sure to smash that like button for us and also subscribe to the channel. And about 30% of you guys don't subscribe, but you watch all our videos. Go ahead and make sure to do that. Uh, and that's all I got. I love you guys. Be blessed. Good boy out.